Elgato has released a ton of products to suit your content creation needs. From capture cards, to microphones, to stream decks, and even cameras. As technology progresses, some of these pieces of tech get upgraded and become even better than their already great predecessors. Enter the Elgato Facecam Mark II, the $150 webcam from Elgato that is the direct upgrade to their first camera, the Facecam. Full disclosure, Elgato did send me this product, but all of the thoughts on this product are mine and mine alone. Elgato did not review this video before I posted it. The reason it took so long is because I'm lazy. But what did Elgato improve on an already great product? Stick around, let's find out. What's good and welcome in. My name is FlyGuyGBG and on this channel here, we do tech, video games, skits, and reactions. So if you like that kind of content, go ahead and consider subbing to the channel and turn on all those notifications for your boy. And let's get into it. The Facecam Mark II is Elgato's latest entry into his long list of content creation products. And if you know anything about Elgato, you know they never miss when it comes to quality. In fact, this is the Elgato Facecam Mark II. I know. That's crazy, right? It comes with a USB-A to USB-C cord. It comes with a mount so you can actually put it on top of the monitor like mine is right now. But one of the coolest things that it comes with, let me show you. A built-in privacy shutter. Because I lost my other one, I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely lost it. I don't know where it is. I actually have two face cams and I don't know where either one of them are. I have no idea. Damn. It has a lower profile form factor, so it's easier to actually put the camera at eye level. And also, it actually mirrors the styling of the Facecam Pro, so it looks very similar, maybe not as wide, but very similar to the original Facecam Pro. It can output at 1080p 60fps, as well as 720p 120fps. And another cool thing is it actually works on USB 2.0 because the Facecam 1, this one right here, can only work on USB 3.0. So for those of us that do not have have a million USB 3.0 slots, you can still use this camera. What's cool is it does have HDR capabilities, but we'll talk about that in a second. It does have a fixed focus lens, so that means it works best between one and four feet, so you don't get that focus hunting like some of the other premium webcams. And all of this is before we even touch the Camera Hub software, which gives you the same capabilities as some mirrorless and DSLR cameras. From exposure to white balance to even pan and tilt, Camera Hub is what makes this camera specifically stand out more than the others. And with NVIDIA SDKs, you can blur your background, change your background, or even enable face tracking. Just like this. You see me? What's up? Where you at? But there's one huge difference from the face cam one to the new face cam right here, and that is the inclusion of HDR. How Elgato explains it is that it's not like video games. They put one underexposed image and one overexposed image, and they put them together to create the perfect image. And this is where I ran into my only issue with the Elgato Facecam Mark II. With HDR turned on, depending on your actual setup with your lighting in the background, if you have nano leaf lights and you turn them up to the brightest, as you can see, my nano leaf lights are currently flickering. But there is a way to fix that. And all you have to do is turn the brightness down on the nano leaf lights, and that kind of alleviates the issue. But still, this picture to me specifically doesn't look as good as the SDR version. But still, I would say the Elgato Facecam Mark II might be the answer for most content creators. Would I say this replaces DSLR or mirrorless cameras? Probably not. However, for $150, this gets you your best bang for your buck to get almost that same professional quality. So if you're in the market for a new camera, I will have a link to the Facecam Mark II in the description below. And if you wanna get 5% off your order, just use code ZZ-FLYGUY. Also, I do stream on both Twitch and Kick. So if you like this video right here, I promise you will enjoy the streams. So come check me out. The links will be in the description. Again, if you like this kind of content, don't be afraid to go ahead and give your boy a like. Sub to the channel if you are new. Turn on those notifications. Again, it's your boy Fly Guy. I'm out.